legitimate law to which the ministers of Elohim all govern from has one origin, and that origin is not Babylon. It's not Babylon. Look in James chapter 4, verse 12. There is one lawgiver, and is it the beast? Is it Babylon? Is it the Talmud? There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Isaiah chapter 3, verse 22. For Yahweh is our judge. Yahweh is our judge. He is our lawgiver. Yahweh is our king. He will save us. You see, today's courts, today's courts and judgments are based upon what? Yahweh? No, secular humanism. Secular humanism, the ever-changing morality of man. That's the danger. Secular humanism is the ever-changing morality of man. Their judgments are not Elohim's judgments. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's just plain blasphemy to talk to call tyrants and oppressors Yahuwah's ministers. Really? They're actually the messengers of Satan. Yeah, come on. Sent to buffet and thwart us. Sent to ensnare and entangle us in their jurisdiction. Look at verse 4. A revenger. The word there is edikos. It means one who carries justice out. Isaiah 54, um, 45, dyslexic. Only in Yahweh are righteousness and strength. 1 John 2, verse 29. If you know that Yahweh is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born from him. And 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. In this, the children of Elohim are manifest. And the children of Satan, whosoever doeth not righteousness, is not of Elohim. Yeah. 